Greetings from Orchid Beach in the Bronx. Here is your entry point and the map of Orchid Beach. Now it says here that Orchid Beach is known as the Riviera of the Bronx. And it's a 1.1 mile beach of the Long Island Sound. Aside from the beach, there are concerts here. Jose Alberto, otherwise known as El Canario, has performed here. And this goes all the way back to opening day of July 26th of 1940. And now, we'll walk to the beach. Now you can actually get to Orchid Beach all year round. If you take the number six subway, to the very last stop, Pelham Bay Park. You can then catch the BX29 bus to Orchard Beach Circle and walk yourself over to the beach. Now, when it's summertime season, there are more direct buses, but all year round, uh, you can get here via the six train and the BX29 bus. And aside from that, you can actually use your transfers. You won't have to pay twice. When you get here and switch from the subway, to the bus, you'll just get a transfer. No additional fee. And now it says here that the present form of Orchard Beach was conceived in 1934. 1937, there was some construction. And this is in the city of New York in the beautiful borough of the Bronx. sun is still shining down. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. There's a playground here for the children. Then here is a look to your left. And now when I show you a look to the right, imagine it's a Sunday evening and lots of people are here. There are free concerts and dancing Sunday night salsa at the beach throughout the summer. I'll show you the uh, pavilion area. And that is free of charge. Free of charge on Sunday evenings at sunset. In the summertime. Now let's walk our way over to the beautiful beach. So being that this is the Long Island Sound, we're not going to see big waves here. Uh, so when you think of going to the beach, you may not want to bring your surfboard. I think you could float on it, you could walk around with it, but you won't be catching any waves. It doesn't discount the beauty of the beach though. It makes for a really serene afternoon. Just hang out and relax. Or walk the 1.1 mile walk. Now it's really interesting when you're at a beach in New York City and you see the bridges. It often throws the juxtaposition of relaxing. Like, wait a minute, I'm just sitting outside in a bathing suit in the water and, and there are all these bridges. Same thing happens when you're in the beaches at Coney Island or at Sandy Hook. You can see elements. It's, oh, I'm, I'm at a city beach. People often think you can't go swimming when you live in a city. That is so not true. I think that that notion comes from if you're walking along the Hudson River or the East River, you don't feel very inclined to jump in. But the water is actually beautiful. And look, you can go fishing here. So don't discount the water quality of city beaches. the shoreline you don't have to worry about really getting soaked if you walk away from home or you're not off in the sun.
There's still also the option to visit an area known as City Island. Also here in this section of New York City. Now if you notice, we did not have to pay any, any additional fee to get into the beach. We did not need a, a beach badge. Um, we didn't need a, a residence pass. This beach is indeed open. Now parking your car, that's a different story. Here's the uh, snack bar back there if you forgot to pack yourself a lunch. And there are hiking trails as well. This is not just a beach in, in Pelham Bay Park. I'm only showing you the beach area, but you can also go hiking in this area. Fishing, swimming. In the summertime, dancing. Here is your 360 view of Orchard Beach in the Bronx. And now it's time to go swimming. Till next time, from the Bronx.